We have some juicy content for you guys right here on Steelers Talk to start out your week. And today, these rumors just won't die, man. Brandon Ayuk goes on IG Live earlier today and says that the 49ers, quote unquote, don't want him. Now, this is definitely going to get interesting here. So I'll break down what Brandon said, what it could mean for a potential trade as we approach training camp here in 2024. And I'll answer the question is it worth to go out and make a trade for Brandon Ayuk? But before we get into today's edition of Steelers Talk, tonight, Paul Skeen's watch party, we were going to do it yesterday on Sunday, but the Pirates decided to move him a day back so that he could pitch at PNC Park against the Reds tonight. So Jack Lauderay and I, we're going to be going live 6.15 p.m. Eastern time. First pitch is 6.40 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you guys turn on your notifications so you know when we go live. And make sure you guys click that subscribe button because we're having at least three live shows every single week here on Steelers Talk here throughout the summer. So if you want to join the most interactive uh, Steelers and Pirates community here on YouTube, make sure you click that subscribe button right now. So now let's get into Brandon Ayuk here because this was a complete bombshell that was dropped this morning. Brandon Ayuk goes on his Instagram Live and he calls up his buddy from Arizona State, Jaden Daniels, the current uh, quarterback for the Washington Commanders, and he said that the 49ers don't want him anymore. This is what he said to Jaden. They said they don't want me back, I swear. And this comes right after a report from ESPN's Jeremy Fowler er, uh, from this weekend that contract negotiations between Ayuk and the 49ers have stalled. This is what Fowler had to say. They're going to see what happens over the next six weeks leading into training camp. The 49ers want Ayuk long-term in the fold, but so far they have not been willing to show that they're going to meet the market of wide receiver, which we're seeing these massive numbers. Alan Ross St. Brown in Detroit, 30 million. Justin Jefferson well above that at 35. Ayuk believes he's a top guy, and so something's got to give. And so he's worked himself into a top 10 receiver conversation We'll see. Not a lot of momentum right now. Not a lot of optimism. If you are a Pittsburgh Steelers fan right now, you are absolutely elated to hear this news. We know that the Steelers have been looking to replace Deontay Johnson ever since they traded him to the Carolina Panthers. It seemed like the Steelers really wanted Mike Williams, but then he ended up signing with the New York Jets before he could visit the Pittsburgh Steelers. And the Steelers really didn't have a backup plan after that to try to uh, address this position. They tried to get a deal done with the 49ers for either Ayuk or Debo Samuel before uh, the draft. And apparently they were really close to a deal before that uh, deal eventually uh, went through. Uh, so listen, man, this is definitely opening up the door to a potential trade for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And at this point, man, I'm willing to say that Brandon Ayuk is actually probably the most likely trade target for the Pittsburgh Steelers on the market right now. Because you look at the rest of the market, it doesn't look like San Francisco is going to deal Debo Samuel this offseason. I don't think Seattle is going to ship off either DK Metcalf or Tyler Lockett. It certainly looks like Denver isn't going to trade Cortland Sutton. So at this point in time, I think that Brandon Ayuk is probably actually the most realistic trade target that could be a Pittsburgh Steeler uh, at the start of the 2024 season. And the best part about this whole situation, guys, is that if Brandon Ayuk straight up demands a trade or if the 49ers truly don't want him on their team, that means that they have very little leverage in terms of a trade because all these teams know that they have to unload Brandon this offseason. Now, it doesn't mean that Brandon's going to come cheap, but I think that this could mean that Omar Khan could get away with not giving up a first-round draft pick in exchange for IUK services. If I'm Omar Khan, I'm giving John Lynch, the 49ers GM, a call right now, and I am offering my second round pick in the next two drafts. I think that this is more than fair compensation for Brandon Ayuk, who is a second team all pro. And then, you know, San Francisco doesn't have a ton of leverage. Now, the Steelers probably will have to fend off some other suitors for Ayuk services. I don't think the Steelers are the only team that would be uh, interested in a Brandon Ayuk trade at this point. But I think that this is fair compensation here, especially because the Steelers are going to have to pony up over $30 million per season to their new receiver if they get this deal done. But let me know down there in the comment section for today's pinned comment, would you accept this trade? Two second round picks over the next two seasons in exchange for a second team all pro receiver. Type A if you'd accept it or type D if you're going to decline it. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's show. So YouTube's going to throw you an ad break here in just a couple of seconds. And when that happens, take advantage of that time by answering today's pinned question with an accept or decline. 
So now let's talk about the money situation here because I do think that Omar Khan has the leeway here and he has the leverage to get a pretty good deal done for a guy like Brandon Ayuk. But now the other question is, should the Steelers give him that money that he's asking for, at least $30 million per season that we saw Amon Ross St. Brown get earlier this offseason? Uh, and he was a first-team All-Pro. Brandon is a second-team All-Pro from last year, and that's what he's looking for, at least $30 million per season on his next contract. And honestly, guys, I think that he's worth it. Now, some people say, oh, he's only had one year of All-Pro production. Well, in 2022, he had over 1,000 yards receiving eight touchdowns, more touchdowns than he had last year. So over the last two seasons, he has been an excellent wide receiver for the San Francisco 49ers. He's been their number one receiving threat on a team filled with receiving threats. So if you're the top dog in that offense, that means you can be the top dog pretty much everywhere. He's still 26 years old, so if you trade for him, he would be here in Pittsburgh, hopefully for the long haul. He's bigger than people uh, think that he is. Some people think he's kind of a smaller receiver, but he's six foot uh, slightly over 200 pounds, again, a second-team All-Pro last year and the number one receiving threat on the 49ers offense. He was Brock Purdy's number one target last year, and he's known as one of the best route runners and run blockers at the position today. So he's like a new and improved version of, uh, of Deontay Johnson because he's going to be a lot better of a run blocker than Deontay ever was, and he's an even better route runner, in my opinion, than Deontay was, and he was one of the best in football. So I think if you're trying to replace his role in this offense, I don't I can't think of a better wide receiver to do it with than Brandon Ayuk. Now, me personally, guys, if the offer is on the table, two second-round picks in the next two NFL drafts in exchange for Brandon Ayuk, plus you have to give him $30 million per season, I am pulling that trigger if I'm GM, GM Omar Khan. This is a team here in the Pittsburgh Steelers that claims to be going all-in on a Super Bowl championship during the Russell Wilson era here, however long it lasts, whether it's one year, whether it's two years, whether it's three years, whether it's more than that, this team is trying to really uh, take advantage of the, of the talent on the roster right now. And right now, the number one move that can make this team's chances at a Super Bowl greater is to add a legit uh, second receiver to this wide receiver room, not named George Pickens. And I think Brandon and I, you could absolutely do that. Plus, another thing that I want to talk about here, guys, is that the Steelers need more money on the offensive side of the ball, okay? You look at all the top teams in the league. They spend their money at these wide receiver, quarterback, you know, offensive line positions. They spend their money on offense because this is an offensive league and you need to have elite offensive talent. The Steelers currently lead the league in defensive spending. They're paying T.J. Watt a massive contract. Now Alex Highsmith's cap hit is going to be kicking in this year. Cam Hayward's still making a, a lot of money, and he wants more in future years. I mean, they got Minka Fitzpatrick. It's, start, it's, it's about time, guys, that the Steelers move some of that money from the defensive side of the ball over to the offensive side of the ball. And if this team is really serious about trying to win championships right now, Brandon Ayuk really gets that job done for the Pittsburgh Steelers immediately. Look at this potential wide receiver room for the Pittsburgh Steelers this year. You'd have Brandon Ayuk. Yes, he would be your number one receiver, George Pickens. Uh, you know, for as good as he has been, he has not been an all-pro receiver. Brandon has. He has that established star status, so he would at least start the year as the number one receiver. But you guys have heard me say that I think George Pickens could be an all-pro as soon as this season. So you could have two potential superstar receivers on either side of your offense here for Russell Wilson to take advantage of. And then you'd have Roman Wilson, who is a speed demon in the slot. He could play in the slot where he's more comfortable, where his size profile maybe makes more sense. And that would definitely definitely be something and this trio of wide receivers could seriously be dangerous for the Pittsburgh Steelers and would probably give them the best shot at winning a Lombardi trophy here in 2024. So what say you guys? Let me know down there in the comment section is Brandon Ayuk worth 30 plus million dollars per year? Uh, are you paying that if you are the Pittsburgh Steelers? Give me a yes or a no. Let me know down there in the comment section what you guys are thinking. Uh, a little bit of a reminder here tonight, Jack Lauderay and I, we will be going live for our second Paul Skeens watch party here on Steelers Talk. Again, we're going to be going live 6.15 p.m. Eastern time for our pregame coverage. First pitch is going to be at 6.40. We're going to be, we're going to be covering the entire game. Uh, and, of course, it's an interdivision matchup, so that's always fun. So make sure you click that subscribe button right now. Again, 6.15. Don't be late. Appreciate all of your guys' support. And until next time, here we go, Steelers.